Welcome everyone to the Apotheki Tales, the basics of pharmacology. Today we are going to talk about the pain ladder or the pain analgesic ladder. So the key concept of the ladder is that it is essential to have adequate knowledge about the pain so that we can easily assess its degree in a patient through proper evaluation and to describe the appropriate medications. As many patients will receive opioids eventually, it is essential to balance the optimum dosage with the side effects of the drug. Moreover, the opioid rotation can be adopted to improve analgesia and to reduce the side effects. Not only that, patients should receive education about the uses and side effects of drugs to avoid misuse or abuse without compromising their beneficial aspects. Now let's look into the pain analgesic ladder. So it is basically progressed in three steps based on the intensity with which the pain increases. So the three stages are mild pain, moderate pain and severe pain. In case of mild pain, we usually initiate with non-opioid analgesics with or without adjuvant analgesics. Talking about the moderate pain, we usually initiate with weak opioids with or without non-opioid analgesics as well as adjuvant analgesics. Now moving on to severe pain, we initiate strong opioids with or without non-opioid analgesics as well as adjuvant analgesics. Now moving on to the examples of the different classes of drugs used in this pain analgesic ladder. First, non-opioid analgesics which usually include aspirin, paracetamol, NSAIDs. Now talking about the adjuvant analgesics which basically refers to a vast set of drugs belong to different classes. Although their administration is typically for indications other than the pain treatment, these medications can be of particular help in various painful situations. So the adjuvants are actually acting as co-analgesics which basically include drug classes such as antidepressants, SNRIs, anticonvulsants, topical anesthetics, topical therapies, corticosteroids, bisphosphonates and cannabinoids. Now talking about the weak opioids which include codeine, tramadol and talking about the strong opioids it includes morphine, fendanil, buprenorphine, methadone. So keep in mind how we initiate the drug therapy in the pain management. Thank you.